I'm Nicholas Powers with Aero Electronics. I'm here with Rich of SubQR, who has created an awesome 4K streaming device. It's its own completely contained 4K streaming encoding, all Video of that? Platform. Yes, it's an open architecture platform. Okay, so open. open architecture, do you mean, so anybody can have access to this, they can go really deep into it? They can go as deep as they want. So it starts with giving you access of everything from when the light hits the lens to when it leaves the back of the camera. This sounds really dangerous. It sounds like people could break this really easily. Well, no, we, we've tried to make it as as user-friendly as possible. So we use 12 millimeter optics. Okay. If you want to experiment with optics, you can swap the optics out. The camera board is interchangeable. So you don't have to buy a new camera. If you want to change from 720p to 1080p or 4K, it's a matter of snapping out the um, camera board and plugging a new one in. So it's not a new camera, just a new camera board. Uh, we open up the architecture of the camera chip itself, which is what you were alluding to being dangerous. There are a thousand 8-bit registers that control the CMOS at the, at the sensor level. We open that up to you and say, guess what? Go play. And we give you the tools to play with. We'll warn you if you're going to do something that could be potentially a right once register that oops, you know. But we're still going to let you do it. I mean, we're not going to stop you from playing with it. Um, we don't know what you're going to do with this, so we've tried to build in as much configurability as possible. We've got 20 expandable I.O. ports on the camera board alone. Oh, wow, okay. Which means you can add powered optics. You can add other uh, mechanics to it, like a mechanical lens, or a mechanical shutter. Uh, powered zoom, powered aperture, uh, anything you want to do, that's there for you to configure. As a power guy, you'll love this. Isolated 2.5 and, and 5 volt power on board. Isolated? Yes. Okay, awesome. So you've got your own at circuit projected so that it's completely separate from the rest of the system. As you can see, we're running Corsair memory, so it's expandable SOD memory, anywhere up to 8 gig, potentially 16 gig down the road. Uh, we need we need this for being able to process 4K. Um, the backside, backside's always beautiful. So on the backside of the camera, we've got a uh, four-pole audio jack that allows you headsets, so stereo out, audio in. We've got a gig E for Ethernet, so you got long distance on it, up to 100 meters, and you can put a uh, amplifier on it. Your favorite, the USB 3C, so it's a um, either direction. You know, it, there's no up or down. Auxiliary I/O. This is the great thing. So this gives you access to the sync and strobe and power and debug functions that are embedded on the board. And then if you need more power than you can suck off of USB, we've got a five volt input. Uh, it is a programmable Xilinx FPGA. And we use the Cypress FX3 to control the USB 3 port. Uh, Marvell, which is one of your parts, is the um, uh, Giggy okay. controller. So. This was made possible by a lot of work with the guys at Arrow. You helped us on, a tech, on the technology side for um, the sensor and for the FX3 components of it, and a lot of help in helping us select the right parts and actually sourcing the parts and getting them here. Because with a small company, it's hard to find a partner that'll help get the answers, get the pricing, get the supply that we need. The last thing you want to see is zero on hand, 20 week lead time, minimum order a thousand. You know, that, that, that kills a startup faster than anything else. So one of the things that we were speaking about earlier is kind of how this enables the maker ethos. That um, being able to get small quantity parts and those things is enabling people to really create. And what I love about this is you've created a platform that people can develop on top of, create their own new ideas. You've taken a lot of the hard engineering out of just getting started. And I think that's really what's incredible about the maker community is you don't have to be an engineer to make really cool stuff anymore. And I think this is definitely enabling that. So if you want want to experiment, if you want to create, innovate, and build new um, applications that will utilize digital imaging, it's here for you to play with. And that's the idea, is to make this something that is easy for you to work with. And then once you've developed this into something that you like, it's easier to go from here to a finished product 
or adhere to a, a product that, that is incorporated into a larger system, then I don't know if you can get a picture of the, the, the huge mess over there. <laughs> But usually these things are, you know, a dev board, a PGA board, and all that wiring and things like this. It, it's cumbersome. And we wanted this thing to be in a finished box, all in one piece, that then you can build from there and do what you want from there. But it also starts as a finished product. Well, thank you very much, Rich. I appreciate it. I'm Nicholas Powers with Aero Electronics. I've been with Rich of Sub2R and their 4K streaming board. I hope you've enjoyed. If you want to see more content like this, go to aero.com or visit us on YouTube.